And welcome back to another episode of Coffee and Stocks. Today we are going to talk about a completely different stock. It's not cars, it's not sports, it's not anything of that. But it's still pretty interesting and it is pretty going pretty pretty low. Uh, don't forget to drop a like on this video as well as press that amazing subscribe button. I do thank every single one of the 840 subscribers that I do have. Because honestly, I think you guys are freaking amazing. We're so close to the 1,000 subscriber mark. Let's keep going. Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. Now, which stock am I talking about? I am talking about EXPC, Experience Investment Corp. Has a different name, and I will get into that in a second. Currently going for $10.66. Now, it's not too expensive. Today, it does have a high of 5.73% or a 59 cent towards the upside. Not too shabby, but let's get into what this stock is, shall we? Boom, Blade. That is the company that is, obviously it's a blank check, but I would, but <clears throat> anyways, Blade is who we're talking about and it's a helicopter stock. If you look right here, it says, travel by helicopter seaplane or jet around cities and population destinations honestly that's pretty cool it's gonna make you seem like you're a high executive person from a company anyways but this is what blade and this is the stock that we are talking about they have urban air mobility they have you know obviously arrive better that's when they talk about uh, how bad traffic gets um the experience blade we are technology powered urban air mobility company committed to reducing travel friction and people getting mad because they are stuck in traffic let's get into the more of the investor plays blade to be listed on nasdaq creating the only pu publicly traded global urban air mobility company it's the only one of its kind it's the only one right so blade is a is a global urban air mobility platform utilizing a, a technology powered asset light model with unrivaled brand recognition blade to become publicly listed on the nasdaq through a business combination with Experian investment corp or exxpc a publicly uh public entity sponsored by an affiliate of KSL. Um, transaction value, values blade at an estimated pro forma equity value of 825 million upon consummation. And they also to provide $400 million in gross proceeds compri comprised of experienced investment corpse cash, health and trust and upsized and oversubscribed 125 million dollars it's freaking what right it is gonna run for around ten dollars per share as of now but as we see right here it's at ten dollars and 66 cents even at one point it was going for around uh eleven dollars and 64 cents now let's get more into the power presentation and see if you guys are more interested into this company and i will tell you guys if i'm gonna invest in it or not now, if we look over here, Blade is positioned to, re to reshape the air mobility landscape, an end-to-end -end urban air mobility platform leveraging captive, captive infrastructure, customer and, op and operator technologies, 200,000 plus users as of yet. That is incredible and well-known global brand. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. So blade as of today right is the first mover advantage and loyal customer based have created significant barriers to entry two recognized and valuable urban air mobility brand three captives uh, captive strategy infrastructure in place today additional capital will enable further expansion via actionable targets and new routes now this isn't in every city as of yet but it's in those cities which traffic gets a little more congested so this can definitely play a huge part in that uh number one uh market share in our key short distance aviation markets bringing credibility to new market expansions now if we look over here on blade 2024 plus obviously they're looking forward 
Um, Blade's business model is proven and profitable. EV Toll, which we'll look into right now what it is, is expected to improve unit economics and dramatically expand the addressable market of Blades' existing products. 167 different EV Toll aircraft under development, right? So they have quite a bit of aircrafts under development and Blade is one of one poised to benefit regardless of which is first to market. So we'll talk about what EV Toll is and as well as how do they make money. So, no, we're going to skip that a little bit. So how Blade works with its oper operators and asset light basis. Blade dramatically increases our operations value, revenue, predictability, and reduces the fixed cost, right? So fixed pricing, blah, 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 dedicated aircraft availability. If we don't fly, we don't pay, right? So Blade leases terminal space from heliports and airports, right? So you're able to fly from certain space and land in certain space without having to deal with big and huge corporations. So Blade buys aircraft time uh, by the hour from our operators covering all costs associated with flights. So we're, we're gonna get into a little bit more of how long it takes. Like say for example, if you wanna take a short distance flight, cool. If you want to take a, a Blade Airport like Manhattan to LGA or F, FJK or uh, JFK, sorry, or EWR, you can. Those are a little bit larger and long distance uh, flights. Blade Medi Mobility. This is a rapid organ movement from for human transplants. Now, this could be a key factor with the government, and they might have, you know, a little bit of government contracts in there. You're able to move. Uh, in a faster pace human transplant like organs uh, and you're able to save people's life they also have international obviously uh, in blade india they currently have that people fly a little bit more um, so prior years of 2019 um, they had 33 million dollars in revenue and only 10 scheduled routes projected for 2024 and it's a huge increase of 402 million dollars of revenue in 2024 as well as an increase of routes to 28 so as you can see right here from 33 to 42 to 402 it is incredibly high right so they mostly do this because of the you know how congested an increase of wait time uh, of your commute is and they're trying to make it a little bit better uh, to get from point A to point B now mind a lot of people aren't gonna probably be able to afford this so it's definitely gonna be kept towards um, those people who can afford it but it doesn't mean that just because you don't have the money to take a flight it doesn't mean you can't invest in this company um, as of right now so Massive market for airport in New York City. Uh, 27 million passengers per year in New York City alone, with three to five million passengers identified through surveys indicating they would pay to use a helicopter service, represents up to $1 billion in revenue in opportunity pre EV toll, right? So, this is just, you know, would you want to take a helicopter instead of, you know, being stuck? In traffic and a lot of people said yes so that is pretty interesting to see they do have obviously EV is electric so we'll get into that in a little bit um, blade built a customer to cockpit urban air mobility technology platform they do have a customer facing app um, which directly is connected with blade international flight view which then has the operate operator dashboard which then the pilots have access to as well in order to see you know if more and more people are interested in this and you know it's if you really think about it it's like an uber but in a helicopter so that's pretty interesting to me personally i mean i would take it instead of being stuck in a uh in a you know a lot of traffic that takes me like three to five hours to get through 
Uh, so it's, it's definitely interesting the way they are trying to provide this to other people. We are going to, like for example here, it's only in those major cities that have a lot of congested areas, right? So like we have LA, we have San Francisco, we have, you know, DC, New York, all those things. Obviously, those are future investments right here in San Francisco. They do have one in LA and they do have one on this area, but it's definitely good to see that they're able to plan for the future. And just like we saw from the $33 million in revenue to $402 million in revenue, they're able to keep, keep, keep increasing. So the way that they um, choose operators, they have to go through an extensive set of uh, certain points. Like Blade does not own any aircraft, obviously, and each operator must pass comprehensive safety evaluations, including in-person audits, insurance, maintenance, FAA, and DOT record check, etc., etc. So they are trying to cover their butt, and they are trying to cover every single thing that they do, right? So we're going to skip a little bit forward. EVT. EV toll stands for electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, as you can see right here. Yes, it's electric. Yes, it goes 180 miles per hour and it could, you know, um, that's the cruising speed. So that is pretty fast. Gets you to point A to point B pa, super quick, right? So it's pretty interesting that they do have an EV idea in there because that way they make it seem like they are uh, doing it for the future and for the long, long term. As you can see right here, and I don't want, obviously we've already gone a little over the time of the video, but brands and partners with Blade, as you can see right here, there's a lot of beverages, technology, entertainment, hospitality, transportation, fashion, beauty, and realty slash finance. These are partners that they do have. You have Coca-Cola, you have T-Mobile, you have Sony, you have Porsche, Mercedes, Maserati. You know, a lot of those people who are already partnered with Blade. Now, that could increase like the amount of partners they do have in the future, um, but we will have to see later, later. So passenger growth and this is super important to see when you are investing in 2014 they had only 1218 passengers from 2014 to 2019 it has increased to 37,401 passengers that is the growth in five years so now imagine a little bit further it's gonna just keep increasing the revenue in millions in 2014 it was two million dollars now it's not that good but that's the first year right as we get closer to 2019 their revenue was 33 million dollars they are expected to get a loss in 2020 and that's based on the covid that hit every single one especially transportation so i think they are doing good and great stuff and not just revenue but also in growth and in ideas and then you know moving forward to increase their way into other major cities do i am i gonna invest in this right now not yet um obviously i'm not a financial advisor so i'm not gonna tell you how to invest your money but i do want to tell you guys ten dollars and sixty success isn't that much and honestly i think it's gonna shoot up to the upside because nothing really stays at ten dollars uh, so it's definitely going to go to towards the upside. I do want to specify that the revenue has increased every single year and they are very positive in cash flow and in revenue. Anyways, that was today's video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Don't forget to drop a like on this video as well as press that amazing subscribe button. You guys are freaking amazing. We're so close to the 1000 uh, mark subscribers. So please, please, please share and subscribe and like as well and i'll see you guys next time on coffee and stocks